This is what's wild in the Hampshire by wildlife biologist Eric Orff. <laughs> this is Sunday, May 22nd. It's around uh, 8.30 p.m. here in central New Hampshire. Not too, just east of Concord, New Hampshire. Do you hear that? Tree frogs. <laughs> we have a big migration tonight. Tonight, May 22nd, 2022. We have a migration of tree frogs. <laughs> a week ago, well, this is Sunday night, so a week ago in two days, so uh, what was that? Be the, uh, around the 15th or 14th of May, these tree frogs were coming from the east through the oaks, across the road over there. A few days before that, that happened on a Friday night, Friday and Saturday night. So the frogs were over that way, the tree frogs. <laughs> They're a noisy lot, listen to them. But the tree frogs also call through the day. So tonight we've had a thunderstorm go north of me here a couple hours ago. And within the last half hour or 40 minutes, pretty much another storm went to the south of me. So, but nine days ago, or 10 or 11 days ago, I could hear tree frogs over that way, off to the east. And they were a distant away. But that, but that Friday and Saturday night, so nine days ago, and eight days ago, the tree frogs were here in the trees around my house in great abundance, great numbers, migrating to the wetland down back, which is on the edge of the Suncook River. So they've been there about nine days, breeding and laying their eggs. And I figured they'd be here for a while, of more than a week. So it's been nine days. And here they are, retreating back into the forest. So every year I hear the migration of the tree frogs. I think a noisy lot. <laughs> but you hear tree frogs during the day. Few frogs call like this during the day. Peepers, no. They're after dark or at dusk. Green frogs, well, they'll strum a little bit. But these are dozens of tree frogs, gray tree frogs, a common frog here in great abundance. And here I am tonight, surrounded by frogs, frogs in the trees. Tonight, May 22nd, tree frogs are in abundance all around my house, retreating from the wetlands down back where they've now spawned and laid their eggs, thousands of eggs down back, thousands. And now they're headed back to the forest for another year. <laughs> and as we know, tree frogs in the wintertime freeze solid. They are the dead of winter. But now, <laughs> these are not dead frogs. These are lively, wonderful frogs in the trees surrounding my house. So yes, gray tree frogs. Hey folks, glad to hear you again. <laughs> I hope you had good luck down there laying your eggs and that your young survive well and fill these trees next year with frogs again. Tree frogs, wonderful tree frogs. Here they are. <laughs> I'll just let you listen for another few seconds. <sighs> I love thunderstorms and don't I love my tree frogs. <laughs> what a night. This is wildlife biologist Eric Orforth, wild in New Hampshire tonight. It's the tree frogs, gray tree frogs. <laughs> Hallelujah.